You're under arrest. Okay. Do you mind whoa, whoa, telling whoa, whoa, whoa. me why I'm under arrest, sir? Why, why am I under arrest, sir? CNN reporter Omar Jimenez was arrested live on air Friday morning. He was just taken in to police custody live on television. Omar was reporting a live segment in Minneapolis for the network show New Day, which was covering the protests that broke out in the city as a result of George Floyd's death earlier this week. George, an African-American man living in Minnesota, died after a police officer held him down by the neck with his knee for more than seven minutes when he was arrested for suspicion of forgery outside of a deli. This is among the state patrol unit that was advancing up the street. In the video of Omar's report, tons of police officers in riot gear can be seen behind him. Then some officers tackle a person to the ground before approaching Omar and his crew. This is the four of us. We are one team. Just put us, put us back where you want us. We are getting out of your way. So just let us know. Wherever you'd want us, we will, we will go. We are just getting out of your way when you're advancing through the intersection. So just let us know and we, and we got you. And uh, this is a scene here playing out in Minneapolis. Omar kept it calm and kept reporting. And if you look closely, you can see the officer holding onto his arm. This is among the state patrol unit that was advancing up the street, saying and scattering the protesters at that point for people to clear the area. That's when things shifted and the CNN correspondent ended up in cuffs. Why, why am I under arrest, sir? Okay. You are arresting him live on CNN. We told you before that we are with CNN. If you're just tuning in, you are watching our correspondent, Omar Jimenez, being arrested by state police in Minnesota. We're not sure why our correspondent is being arrested. After Omar was taken away in handcuffs, his news crew was also arrested. Our I, CNN camera crew and our producer are being arrested right now on live television in handcuffs. I've never seen anything like this. Neither Omar nor his crew were given a reason for their arrests, but the cameras kept rolling even after they were taken away. Yeah, this is the police carrying our camera right now, frankly not aware that it's still rolling. Following the arrests, fellow CNN reporter Abby Phillip tweeted that CNN President Jeff Zucker spoke to Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, who apologized for the incident. Abby tweeted, quote, he is working to get them released, adding Walz said he takes full responsibility for what happened. Well, everyone, to their credit, was pretty cordial after that happened. Omar went back on air following his release and explained that they were arrested after they moved their position to get out of the way of the police. There was no animosity there. They weren't, they weren't violent with me. Uh, we were having conversation about just how crazy this week has been for every single part of the city. And like I mentioned, a lot of these people are on edge. Omar added that he and his crew continued to identify themselves to police as they were handcuffed in a van before their belongings were returned and they were allowed to leave. That gave me a little bit of comfort knowing that you guys saw what was happening, I was living what was happening, and the country was seeing what was happening unfold in real time right before their eyes. You don't have to doubt my story. It's not filtered in any sort of way. You saw it for your own eyes, and that gave me a little bit of comfort. Yeah, but is... it definitely was nerve-wracking uh, at certain points.